Howdy, Sam here from Sheridan Computers. Today, we're diving into the latest OpenSense update 25.7.8, which has just dropped. And from the release notes, it's obvious that this one is packed with significant improvements and security enhancements. There's even some features moving from the business edition back into the community version. So if you're running OpenSense on your network, this update matters. Let's break it down. Sheridan Computers. IT. Communications. Support. Let's start with the big theme of this release, security and safer command execution. The OpenSense team has been tightening up how the system executes commands under the hood. Now this was sparked by a review comment. It's not a security incident, but it is relating to potential command injections in the interface functions. Now it wasn't exploitable unless someone already had access to modify the system configuration, but the team still took it seriously and they've used this as motivation to improve the entire command execution system. They completely rewrote the shell class, audited every call, and expanded their safe execution tooling. And this is all part of the long-term push towards OpenSense 26.1, and they're rolling it out gradually to test stability. One of the exciting changes I can see on this list is Unbound Block Lists, which were previously a business-only feature, and they're now available in the Community Edition. To make this happen, though, OpenSense have merged the old community version with the business block list system and because of that, after upgrading, your block list settings might not automatically regenerate, so you'll want to keep that in mind. You'll want to reapply your unbound block list settings and double check any migrated configuration. But this is a great example of the OpenSense team's commitment to their community version, which they describe as the foundation of everything they are building. This update also includes a new kernel with major improvements to the VTNet driver. Now this is really good news for users running virtualized OpenSense installations, especially on Proxmox, ESXi, or BSD-based virtualization. And these changes come from stable branch work, so everything should be solid, but if you notice any unusual driver behavior, then the OpenSense team wants your feedback on that. Now let's hit some of the most important technical improvements included in the patch notes. System and backend received a lot of attention. Many raw PHP execution functions like exec, system, pass through, and shell exec have been replaced with safer variants, so they've always been dangerous functions. Host route handling was improved. PKCS12 export now includes a full certificate authority chain. Logging is a bit more robust, and they've noted that type errors are now gracefully handled. One of the biggest changes though is a major rewrite of the shell class to unify safe command execution right across the system. On the interfaces side, there's new support for link local IPv6 mode, PPPoE connections are now properly stopped when CARP is disabled, packet capture and ping buttons have been fixed, the safer handling around the pfsync configuration function and sysctl execution scope is now restricted in PPP configuration. In the firewall, the live log view has been improved with a more static grid layout and better compatibility with older interface naming. New state timeout options are added for certain UDP real categories and some noisy PFCTL output has been muted, keeping your cron jobs a bit quieter. IPsec got several improvements, including support for AES 256 GCM 16, a new advanced setting called rec ID underscore base, and a more reliable handling of phase relationships. Unbound, which now includes the enhanced blocklist system, received improvements to CNAME handling for whitelisted domains, fixes for pointer record duplication, and more safe execution changes. So we can see from these notes that a number of plugins were updated as well. Free Radius was updated to version 1.9.28, FRR was updated to 1.49, and there's a brand new plugin, OS NDP Proxy Go, and that introduces a user space IPv6 neighbor discovery proxy. There's also a new flex color theme that includes three themes in one. And then the QFeeds connector plugin was also updated. In addition to those plugins, several upstream ports were also updated too. And these include curl 8.17, NSS 3.118.1, OpenVPN has been updated to 2.6.16, 
The Perl Regular Expression Library to 10.47 and PHP has been bumped to 8.3.28. So what does all this mean for you as an OpenSense user? Well, you're getting safer and more consistent command execution across the system. More features are coming to the community version. Virtualization performance is getting better with the new kernel updates. And overall, the system is becoming cleaner and more stable and more reliable. Let's walk through an upgrade. So you can see this is on 25.7.7, .7, uh, patch release 4. Let's do the update to 25.7.8. The first thing we're going to do is go into system, snapshots, and take a snapshot of the system at the moment, just in case anything goes tits up. So we're going to add a snapshot. This is 25.7.7.4. It's always a good idea to take a snapshot. That's why I wrote it. Um, right, so system, firmware, updates. Check for updates. Here's the 25.7.8 release notes that I pretty much just read to you. And scroll down to the bottom and hit update. So, no, the firewall will reboot directly after this firmware update, so it does require a reboot. So a critical upgrade is in progress. Please do not turn off your system. Uh, please don't do that. If you turn off your system, you will break it. So you just need to be patient during these updates. So the upgrade is finished and the system is being rebooted. Please wait. So it's rebooted and that's a good job because this system is remote. And now you can see we're on 25.7.8. Just before we wrap up, um, let's find these new unbound block list features. So if we go into services, unbound DNS, uh, we can see now that we have access lists and we have block lists. So there's a new feature for you to play with. If you're running OpenSense 25.7, this update is definitely worth installing. Just remember to reapply your unbound block list settings afterwards and let me know in the comments what features you're most excited about or if you'd like a full walkthrough video for any new plugins or settings. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.